The 39-year-old Churchill man is accused of starting fires that killed at least 21 people. He appeared before a closed court at Morwell, charged with arson causing death and one count of child pornography. The investigation in regard to the identification of the perpetrator is complete. The man's due back in court on Monday. He could face up to 25 years in jail. They don't yet know how the latest fire sparked. It flared this morning and put Healesville, north of Melbourne, under extreme threat. The fire line ran through heavy forest and blanketed the region in a day-long twilight. It was difficult to rain. Yep. But the CFA volunteers didn't flinch. It could turn into something nasty, but that depends on what the fire front's doing. It's these types of flare-ups which are giving the firefighters such grief. They can pop up anywhere and at any time, and the volunteers have to be here to get them under control. Nearby, resident Chris Bitterscombe was launching his fire plan, hosing down the house. We certainly just, we should have sort of peter out and just go, you know, until we're just days of just waiting around now. A week ago, locals would have ignored this. Today, it was enough to make many pack their bags and flee. All the people that have died, you know, you don't want to be one of the people that are stuck in their houses. David Broadbent evacuated his tenant, then the dog, but he couldn't offload his fear. Her asthma and her thyroid cancer recovery is, she just can't stay here any longer. Uh, put the dog in. Um. But then our interview was interrupted. Yesterday at 7.30 or 8 o'clock, he gets up with a chainsaw. Instead of mowing the f***ing grass and keeping his property under control. Evidence of the pressure this neighbourhood is under. I've been away overseas with work. You're a big liar, mate. You're a liar, liar, pants on fire. You are... Guys, is the stress just of this week just getting to us here? Or... No. At the relief centre, they say six days of this is pushing people to breaking point. Like I said, we had the car pack since Saturday. Mm. And um, it's just been mad, mate. Yeah. How much can people take? Oh, it's just terrible, absolutely terrible. Another blaze late yesterday put homes just 10 kilometres from Melbourne CBD under threat. 50 firefighters worked into the night, making it safe. It was arson, the suspect a man in his early 20s. Locals, some feeding horses rescued from the countryside, are furious. I think it'd be better if the cops catch him before we do. Uh, no, it's just ridiculous. And last night, another deliberate fire at Baxter on the Mornington Peninsula. My disgust at the, the senseless activities of some of these people was just enormous. Police are also investigating the Marysville fire where 100 people may have died. We have some suspicions and some, some concerns about the, the, the ignition of that particular fire. It's just because of the pattern as the way the fire went. The official death toll remains 181. That hasn't changed in three days. Police earlier said it might be Sunday before they have a final count. Forensic experts believe many bodies will never be found. The heat's so intense, there's nothing left but ash. But they'll be remembered today at a memorial service in St Paul's Cathedral, Melbourne.